Damn. Speaking of bad feet, uh, this brother shared that with me. <laughs> no, this brother's really funny and really wonderful. I really appreciate his style and his comedy. Uh, everybody, you gotta, you gotta love this brother. Everybody, give it up for Zorba. Come on. Take it in. <laughs> Give me a second to look at this. So let's get the obvious out the way. CeeLo had a yard sale and I racked the fuck up. <laughs> My name is Zorb at Z-O-R-B. I usually keep ready to go down. Black folks just ain't make it as anything. Me and my cousin Coca-Cola used to get pissed about that. <laughs> it's a cool name. This is a lot of names I heard as a kid. I went to school with a girl named Vanessa. Normal name, she spells it with a Q. Talking about this exotic, I was like, no, bitch, that's retarded. <laughs> There's certain names, like you hear, like, you'll never see a Hillary in a project, right? <laughs> and if you do, something went horribly wrong. Yeah. Certain names, you hear. I went out with a girl a long time ago, her name was Charisma. She didn't have any. <laughs> they gotta stop giving these names to these people that don't. I, I know a girl named Shy, but <laughs> according to the guys that banged her, she wasn't. Oh. Well, that was what they. Yes, <laughs> what it is, what it is, what it is. So I'm glad to see people. Uh, I've been in the house a year. This COVID step was in, right? I'm glad to see people. I'm glad we're out because I'm trying to have the conversations with my cat. Because she's starting to make points. You know, my cat is interesting. I went to see the movie Black Panther. She came with me, but not on purpose. Put your pillow. Huh? Put your pillow. What happened was she snuck in my bag, and I didn't check my bag. I just zipped it up, went to the movie. My bag starts moving in the movie theater. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Then I realized it's her, but I didn't go. I paid $15 for this movie. We don't see it. <laughs> so I see it. We get home. She now seen her cousin on the screen, so now she got an attitude. <laughs> She started smacking the dog in the back of the head and <laughs> put her front paws together to make the Wakanda sign and want me to feed out of a gold bowl. I'm like, look, we live in a tent tomorrow. <laughs> We're on the windshield. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I live in a tent tomorrow. That's awesome. It's, it's an interesting place to live. Why? It's the only place I've been with you'll see an empty wheelchair and not be concerned about where's the person that was in. <laughs> That's the tenderloin. It's the only place I've been where you'll see, I saw a guy tying off shooting up, but as I walked past my old room, say, I don't drink soda because soda's bad for my health. <laughs> That's the corn de loin. <laughs> I seen a guy with a lazy eye, buck teeth, and a weak chin that he had on a shirt that says, I make pretty babies. <laughs> That's the tenderloin. You ever had a homeless racist? I had a guy call me a nigga, then 30 minutes later, Ask me to change. I said, change, you just call me a nigga. Why you gotta bring up old shit? That's the tenderloin. <laughs> There's a little person, she's this tall, she's a prostitute, and she goes by the name of Half Price. <laughs> That's the tenderloin. I'm not making it up, you'll see her. She walks with two pit bulls by her side. Interesting. I sent a blind guy one time in the tenderloin having a cell phone on him and said these words When I see you, I'm fucking you up on sight. <laughs> That's the tenderloin. You ever been on Hyden Turk? What I refer to as the homeless flea market. Why? I saw a homeless guy. He was trying to, uh, you know, they sit up stuff and they try to sell it to you. Homeless guy tried to sell me one shoe. What the hell am I going to do with one shoe? I said, take it one step at a time. That's the tenderloin. You ever had anybody try to sell you meat out of baby stroller? That's the tenderloin. That's why I live. I've been here 11 years in San Francisco. Interesting place to be. Why? Here's the funny thing about it. This is the only city I've been in where they got a sign that said, don't feed the pigeons, but you can walk around here naked. <laughs> I came outside one day, a guy walked past me, butt naked, held me in a briefcase. Where the hell is he going? Where? He had on shoes. I'm like, what, is he afraid to catch or something? <laughs> Interesting. I was in Dolores Park sitting down on a bench reading a book, mind on my bed. Homeless guy came and sat across from the nonchalant before he was at a crack pipe. He 
goes, you mind if I smoke? I said, ain't that a bitch, a gentleman crackhead. That's San Francisco. That's when I see it on the daily. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're from Kentucky. Yeah, they got black people there. Bill Billy's right next to me. This is what they look like when they don't inbreed. Make a good look. As a stereotype, we know our cousins. That's not true. I've been dating my aunt for a while. I think I should know. I come from a place where the kids just chew tobacco. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, coming from me. I got a friend who's high class white trash, so that means he got a chandelier hanging from his trailer. We ain't even in Kentucky. A couple years ago, I went home to visit my family. I was crossing the street. A redneck gonna try to run me over. He gonna copy the N word. And then he goes, hey, nigga. Then he ran into a tree. <laughs> Coincidence, it was a black oak. <laughs> That's Kentucky. We got a funny family, too. I got an uncle named Tom, but we can't call him that. Right. Yeah, some people don't get it. Some people gotta think about it. Nah. My dad walked out of me and my mom in 1979 went to get a pack of cigarettes, never returned. That's messed up, but it kept me from smoking. That's <laughs> My grandfather had 16 kids. Very prolific man. He didn't even have a pull-out couch. That's my man. How you doing, man? Can I do? Hope you help you. You go this way. You look like you're going to rob a bank. All right. <laughs> Y'all coming up front? Y'all look like y'all should be home studying. <laughs> they do though, man. That's how you know I'm getting old. It just, this beard just turned gray for like a year and a half ago. I've I, I had this since I was 14. Genetics have been great to me. I wanted a beard too. I didn't want a little. This is this is a beard that looks like I command the ship. That's what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? That's a beard. I don't. I this little sparse strip like that. Grow a beard. I don't. You grow? Can you grow a beard, my man? And he like, man, he said, I got the can in the big crate. Good enough. <laughs> no, but a beard in it. This, hey, this is what commands power. Look like I could go save the queen and some shit. Yeah. <laughs> like I should be in one of the history books. You know the guys that always had the beards, they always looking this way. I don't know what the hell they looking at, but they're on the side of your money. I don't know what they, but that's, that's what having a beard did for me. Yeah, I'm living this crazy life. I don't know who is doing those crop circles, but I want them to be my barber. <laughs> if you can make an image of the Virgin Mary in a wheat field, I know you can take her like hell. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I need. I need a good barber. I need a good one. Especially when you got this one to get it right. This is perfection on my face. She'll tell she'll tell you I'm like crazy with this. Because I don't look like no homeless guy, you know what I mean? You, know, you got this much, you understand, you don't want to. Yeah, it's a fine line between the homeless. You know, don't care how clean you are, that shit just don't look. I keep my shit combed like every five minutes. You know, they're like, damn. You, got, you know, guys just be jealous we can't hit you. How are you? Yeah. Not that. Not that. You, know, you got 10 far there. You know, you know how I know, you know, this is what I know I got mixed my family with this beard, because black people aren't hairy. So that means one of two things. That means basically this is genetics and rape. That's what this is. <laughs> That's what this is on my face. <laughs> genetics and rape. That sounds harsh, but it's for real, you know. And here's the funny thing about having a beard. Random people want to come up and touch this shit. I don't like that shit. I was walking down the street and this old white lady came up. Hey, how you doing? Did you? Let's say, oh, white lady, you got some for Asians. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah. Oh, God. I can't let this pass. <laughs> you know what you What the fuck? <laughs> come here, guys. Look at this tall motherfucking Asian. <laughs> <laughs> There's where my height went. I'm black. That's supposed to be yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, whatever. You got. But how tall are you? Six five, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you anyway. That's how you. Six two. Fuck you too. <laughs> Y'all got black somewhere in your family. Yeah, you know I mean your daddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I figured that. Got a can you play? Can you play? Did. Did. Did in the past. Oh, you did in the past. What, what position did you say? Five spots, so center. Five. You were a center. Okay. When did you play? I didn't play. You didn't play. Yeah. Right? See, that's a waste exactly. of time. I know. That's what I'm talking about. You understand how wealthy I would be if I were that fucking tall right now? Get your hell ass away. Get the fuck away. Have a good day. I'm sorry. That always pisses me off. I never get the height. 
I'm just making fun of them because they tall and Asian, man. That's all. Now I'm not even get that shit. <laughs> That's what it is, you know. I got the size of a football player, but I wasn't always this big. I wasn't. When I was in high school, I was this tall. They weren't looking at nobody that tall who didn't have any, you know. Plus, I don't want to play nothing where you can give me a concussion. And it's, to me, football is the gayest sport in the world. Tight end, wide receiver, what's the other position? Tailback. There you go. <laughs> Who really wants to be the best wide receiver? <laughs> I'm just saying. Catcher, catcher comes from baseball. You know the sport, what's that, what's that? Catcher and catcher comes from baseball, that's pretty yeah, good Yeah, you know the sport I play? I was a walk-on on the chest team. That's me, you know. I would have went pro, but I injured a finger. So, <laughs> that's me. I, I play that. That's my tough sport. Yeah, that's what I do. I got the glasses now. These are prescription. Everybody think, if you, I'm near side of the fuck. You see this? Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah, come on through. I'm blind. Don't worry. Um, you see this one right here? It's really just thick as fuck. But I don't want y'all to notice that. So I want y'all to think I'm the coolest motherfucker in the world. Like I play a, a saxophone or some shit. I'd rather you think that than the fucking, that I'm blind in the back. So, you know, we, we all got our moments. There's something else funny. I was a cream. Did it almost have me to get out? Okay, I can see. When Tony walks out real slow, I just saw a gray afro walk past me. I was like, what the hell? That shit floating. I was like, that better be connected to a head. Now I'm in heaven or some shit. Hey, I'll leave y'all on this. I saw this in the paper. They found the original bus that Rosa Parks was on, and they're going to put it in the museum in Detroit where she's from. Yeah, I think that's cool, but here's the question I asked. Are they going to put it in the front of the museum? <laughs> Thank you, folks. Good night. <laughs> Good, sir. Thank you. So